Question 1 part 1 Is soccer, you know, the sports that I like both watching and playing? I would say that my childhood was associated closely with soccer because it's a type of sport that I, you know, play regularly with my peers every afternoon after school time. Plus, you know, if my parents had led me to become a professional football player when I was a kid, I think I would have been a famous football player now. Question 2, part 1. Well, you know, I was not formally trained in soccer, so, you know, <clears throat> I just watched some football techniques on the internet, like, you know, the way to make a pass, the way to dribble, or to shoot, and, you know, practiced it with practice these techniques with my friends in a small stadium near my home. Question 3 Of course, like I have said above, I played football with my friends regularly after school and moreover, when I was in high school, I also hit the gym with my classmates in a gymnasium which used to be a store throw away from my home. For part one, I think so. In fact, I usually observe my nephew every time when he comes back after school and, you know, most of the time he is in a sluggish status. Despite the fact that, you know, physical education is a compulsory of subject at school, school, I think, you know, students nowadays should take more time to join in physical activities, not only to enhance their physical health, but also, you know, let off steam after studying hours. Part 2 Today I would like to tell you about the sports community that I went to regularly during, during the time when I was in high school called Hypertrun Gymnasium. To begin with, my friends invited me to hit the gym with them several times before but you know, after, and after a while of considering, I finally decided to give it a go. Geographically, geographically, the Hypertrun Gymnasium is in close proximity to my home, so you know, I usually walked there to hit the gym with my friends every afternoon after school time. At first glance, it was an extremely large space, including an artificial turf stadium for sport events, a stage area for, you know, musical and cultural shows, and a zone for hitting the gym. <clears throat> In contrast to the huge and windy space outside, the area for the gym was a little bit cram cramped because it was built in halls and, you know, there was a clear division between space for men and space for women in the gym room and honestly you know my classmate and I were all in puberty at that time so we sometimes sneak glance at girls in another area <laughs> it was quite embarrassing but it was quite fun I think Question 1, part 3 Well, I think my answer is yes You know, during the way to my university or my workplace every day I have seen a lot of, you know, adolescents as well as adults going for a job on the street or in park and I have also seen many of them in small centers where I hit the gym every day I think 
young people nowadays are like, you know, acutely aware of a healthy lifestyle, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic. Question 2, part 3. Yeah, um, there are two primary birds associated closely with children playing sports. First and foremost, you know, physical activities can help students significantly improve their health. Through joining in these activities, you know, their muscles as well as their bodies will be honed to become more tough and flexible and, you know, their resistance is grammatically uh, enhanced. Second, Sports might be a good way for not only kids but also adults to you know let their hair down after working or studying. You know, indeed, burning calories as well as you know sweat in playing sports can release stress out people's brain and you know, help them refresh their mind. Question three, but three. Definitely, yes, you know, constructing public sport venue can, you know, provide residents the chance to work out any time, saves them from having to follow a fixed schedule at big sport centers. And plus, they can have the chance to practice with special equipment which is unaffordable at their home. And moreover, you know, these sports places might be a, an ideal place for you know, people to expand their social circle. Like I, I have said above, there are a lot of people working out in these sports venues, so it's a great chance for city dwellers as well as country locals to make friends with like-minded people. Question 4 but 3 Well, I think this activi these activities of firm are like, you know, killing two birds with one stone. On the one hand, they really open up career paths for kids from, you know, disadvantaged backgrounds. <coughs> for example, in, you know, Argentina or Brazil where street football is ubiquitous. Scouts from you know European football teams will discover football talents in these street football matches, and you know firms who condition sports spaces for kids will certainly be widely honored. And on the other hand, you know I think donating sports spaces and equipment is like a form of charity. It's also a good way for you know firms, business to police their brands as well as their fame under the public's eyes.